Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna to give you an in-depth look on the practical individual medical pouch. Um, so this is mine loaded out. Uh, this is how it looks. Uh, on the outside here, you're gonna have a uh, simple medical pouch, uh, patch. It's gonna be Velcro to the outside. Um, what's cool about this is a laser cut patch and it has a little pocket on the inside. So if you want to insert a swatch of IR or you wanna insert a red swatch of whatever material in here to change the background and make it stand out a little bit more. You can do that, <clears throat> but if you don't like it, you can always take it off and chunk it and put whatever patch you want to on the outside. Um, going over to the back, you have the option to direct mount this thing to your belt. Uh, it has laser cut belt loops in here. You can direct mount this to your EDC belt or your belt rig. Uh, however, there also is the option to mount it uh, with Molly. It's going to come with Velcro one wrap. That's an easy installation method that I like to use and it's nice and strong. But if you don't like the one wrap, you can also install this with malice clips or uh, however you like to install things on your belt. There's a ton of different options out there. There's also two holes right here. And there's also two holes right here on the internal pouch. And that's so you can run a length of 550 cord through there and leash these two things together if that's something you would like to do. Um, that's kind of it for the outside. As you can see, the internal pouch has handles sticking out of the outside of this thing. So if it's mounted to your belt, there's a handle here and there is a handle here. Um, and then right here you see we have a, a set of trauma shears that can be available to you, you can just snatch them out. And I'll show you that a little bit more about that in a second. Um, so I'm going to uh, remove this, make it a little bit more easy for you to see another a couple other features. On the top here, the outer shell is what I'm calling it, uh, is, is tied up with a shock cord, and that's gonna help you in uh, inserting your internal pouch into here adjusting the diameter of the shells, full adjustability, and then you can tension this thing down really tight to set the, set the load on the internal pouch however tight you might want it so it does not, uh, it does not come out inadvertently. On the bottom here, it is uh, laced up with a uh, three quarter inch one wrap uh, Velcro. And that again is gonna give you more adjustability on the diameter of the outer shell. Uh, on the inside, you can see how we have it looped over and there is excess one wrap right here. So what I like to do is use that to kind of set the sizing, and then I'm gonna use the shock cord to tension it down. Um, again, that's gonna be used as serviceable, just like the shock cord. If you feel like it's wearing out, and you can just rip it out, insert new cord, insert new one wrap, boom. Uh, it, it's just gonna help keep things a little bit tighter over time if, if, if your pouch wears out. Some pouches are made out of simple elastic, and then you might insert your, your pouch, and then it wears out. You might reduce the contents of your pouch, and that elastic might wear out over time. Um, and some pouches, you can't service that, so you just have to buy another one. This one, we wanted the user to be able to service it uh, accordingly. So moving on to the internal pouch. This is the internal pouch. Uh, my favorite feature of this is the uh, shear stowage here. Um, so there's a pocket on the backside of the internal pouch that you can slide your shears in. These are five and a half inch shears. You can put, put the big boys in here if you want. These five and a half inch shears, I find they work great um, and they, they, they do the job. There's a tab right here that's going to keep these things stowed. Um, it's a laser cut piece of squadron with some Velcro on it, and it's gonna prevent those things from coming out inadvertently when you don't want them to, but if you need them, of course you can just snatch them right out. So that's a cool thing about this pouch. Again, uh, you can see the handles here on the internal pouch. Now, and right here on the open side of it, you have a, uh, a tab that's flipped over. It gives you a little bit of texture, something to grab onto. There's also a little loop. This thing is looped over and bar tacked. So you can run a piece of cord through here if you want to make a little loop to fit a finger in to open this thing up. Um, so that's an option as well. 
There is a Velcro loop on the top of this thing. Um, so if this thing is loaded out a little bit differently or a little bit different, it, you see how it can adjust in length and height just by depending on how much that flap is, is flipped over. So it's nothing special, but it's, it's simple, but it's effective, right? Um, the first thing you're gonna come to here are your uh, a set of gloves, a set of nitrile gloves um, that there's a little pouch here for them to stay into. If somebody else is working on me, they might not wanna get my blood all over their hands. Um, so first thing you kind of want when you're doing this kind of thing is a set of gloves. Um, right here uh, is a three inch elastic loop that you can kind of stack and pack all of your uh, gear right here. I have a set of a twin pack of hyphen uh, vented uh, chest seals and a Israeli compression bandage, four inch. You can also put a six inch in, in here if, if you want. It's gonna change the length of the, the complete pouch. I like the four inch. I like the Israeli style bandage. I think it works good. It's packed down nice and tight. I have combat gauze in here, compressed combat gauze, and I have an NPA in here as well. And these are the, kind of the, the basic essential things that I want. This is a minimalist kit. It's not a huge kit to save a lot of lives, but it might help me and it might save me in the things that I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna keep more medical in my car, uh, but this is gonna be something I'm gonna keep on me every single day in my book bag, on, on my uh, double belt rig at the, at the range or on my EDC belt. This, these are the basic things that I'm, I'm gonna keep for me or one other person, depending whoever needs aid. So I hope this was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comment section. Send us an email at flatlinefabrico.com. Shoot me a DM. And again, you can find this product um, at flatlinefabrico.com.